Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really super cute Grinch inspired beanie. So uh, keep watching and make this beanie with me everyone. Thanks! The tools you're going to need to make this are, first of all, you're going to need yarn. So the yarn that I'm using is this um, Hometown Lion Brand yarn. And the color that I'm using is the... Um, the Tampa Spice color. You're also going to need um, green yarn. You're gonna need the white furry yarn. And I'm gonna put all of these links, my Amazon links for all of these so you guys can see um, exactly what kind of yarn I'm using. And I'm also using this Wool Ease Lions brand yarn. It is in the grass color. Um, I'm using for the eyes, I'm using this um, red heart super saver bright yellow yarn and then i'm using this it's also a red heart uh dark green for the nose you just need a little bit of that and here i'm making this to the large size here so i'm going to need this to be at least the 21 inches um in circumference um, and it's going to look a little different but i'm going to show you how to make it of course you're going to need your scissors you're going to need your measuring tape you're going to need a nine millimeter crochet hook um, you're going to need your <laughs> it's a lot of stuff you need huh you're going to need your five and a half millimeter uh, crochet hook and you're also going to need your yarn needle you're also going to need some black yarn here and um, that's for making some of the features for the face so now what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we're going to make a magic ring and if you don't know how to make that i'm going to link that video in the description below so you're going to chain two and you're going to do four double crochets in that magic ring and then you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch that you made. So here I'm just doing the four double crochets in my magic ring. And now I'm going to pull that tight to make sure you pull it really tight. And then I'm going to put the long part of my yarn on the inside. I'm going to tuck it on the inside. I'm going to count to four just to make sure that I'm working into the right stitch. So I'm going to just slip stitch into to the top of that um, first double crochet that I made. get my yarn situated here so on this next row I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the double crochets I made from the previous row so that means that this row row two here will have a total of four double crochets also So again, just one double crochet in each of the stitches around. Then I'm going to slip stitch to the first one that I made. So when I'm done with this one. I'm going to find that very first double crochet I made. I'm going to slip stitch to that. And then on row three, I'm going to chain two. And then the first one, I'm going to do two double crochets in that first stitch. Then I'm going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So here, I've done my two double crochets in that first stitch. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do one double crochet. And then my next stitch here, I'm going to do two double crochets in that next stitch. 
and then I'm going to do one double crochet and then stitch after this and this will have a total of six double crochets in this row so again when you're finished with this you will have six total double crochets in this row and this is row three and then when you finish you're just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that you made and then you're going to chain two and now you're going to do one double crochet in each of the double crochets you made from the previous row so you're just going to do one double crochet all the way around and when you're finished this row will have a total of six double crochets and this is row four so row four will have a total of six double crochets and you're just doing one double crochet all the way around Now here I'm on my last double crochet and I'm just going to slip stitch to that first double crochet I made and you see here I'm tucking that tail in a little bit there um, because it was getting in the way. Now I'm going to chain two and then on this row, this is going to be row number five, I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch. So two double crochets in the first stitch and again I'm going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So I'm going to do one double crochet in that next stitch. And I'm going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. And again, I'm just repeating this pattern all the way around. And at the end of row five, I will end up having nine double crochets total. And now I'm just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet I made and now I'm going to chain two. And this row I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the stitches around. And again this row will have a total of nine double crochets in it. And when I get done with this I'm just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made. And again row six here I'm going to have a total of um, nine double crochets and I'm just doing one double crochet in each of the double crochets from the previous row. Now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first double crochet that I made. Now I'm going to chain two and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two double crochets in that first stitch and again I'm going to repeat and do one double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to repeat that all the way around so two double crochets in that first stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around on um, this is row seven and on row seven here, I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochets when I'm done. When I'm finished with this round, I'm just going to slip stitch here to that first double crochet that I made. And now I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And this is row eight. And then row eight will have a total of 12 double crochets in it. Thank you. 
Now here, when I'm finished with this row, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made, and I'm gonna chain two, and then I'm gonna do two double crochets in the first stitch. But now I'm gonna do one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And I'm gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm doing two double crochets in, one, in the first stitch, and then I'm doing one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And I'm repeating this pattern all the way around, and this is row nine. And row nine is going to have a total of 16 double crochets on it. So there'll be 16 double crochets on this round, row nine. Now I'm slip stitching to the first double crochet that I made and I'm gonna chain two. And now I'm gonna do one double crochet in each stitch around. So just one double crochet in each of the stitches from the previous round. This is row 10 and on row 10, you're gonna have a total of 16 double crochets all the way around. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made, and I'm going to chain two. And now I'm gonna do two double crochets in the first stitch. Then I'm gonna do one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And I'm gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm gonna do two double crochets in this stitch. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next three stitches all the way around. And this is row 11. And on row 11, when you're finished, you're going to have a total of 20 double crochets. Now I'm just gonna slip stitch there to the first double crochet I made and I'm gonna chain two. And then on this round, I'm gonna do two double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm gonna do one double crochet in each of the next four stitches around. And then I'm just gonna repeat that pattern. So I'm gonna do two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches around. And this is row 12, and row 12, when you're finished, will have a total of 24 double crochets. So now I'm gonna slip stitch to that first double crochet that I made and I'm gonna chain two. And now I'm gonna do two double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm gonna do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches around. And I'm just gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm doing two double crochets in one stitch. And then I'm gonna do one double crochet in the next five stitches, and I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around. And this is row 13. At the end of row 13, I'm gonna have 28 double crochets total.
And now I'm just going to slip stitch that first double crochet that I made. I'm going to chain two and on this row I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm just doing two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next six stitches and then again I'm repeating that pattern all the way around and this is row 14 and on row 14 at the end I will have a total of 32 double crochets. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet that I made. And right here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure it. So measuring this, this comes out to oh, about six and a half, maybe even almost seven inches if it were um, stretched a little bit. So um, that's probably, if you were going to do a newborn size, I would probably stop the red there and go ahead and start my fur row. So if you were going to do a smaller size, you could skip ahead on this video and um, start your fur row. But um, since I'm doing an adult large, I'm going to go ahead and continue. But if you were doing a smaller one, um, whenever your inches meet, what it says on the size chart so if it's you know six inches the circumference is going to be 12 inches around which is the circumference so just make sure that um that you remember that and so here on this next row i'm going to chain two and then i'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches and again i'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around this so i'm doing two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches and I'm just repeating it all the way around and we're on row 15 now and row 15 is going to have a total of 36 double crochets. And I'm just going to slip stitch to that first double crochet made. I'm chaining two and now I'm going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. And again this is a pattern I'm just going to repeat all the way around. So I'm doing two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. And then I'm just repeating that pattern around and this is row 16 and on row 16 you're going to have a total of 40 double crochets.
here I'm just slip stitching to that first double crochet I made. I'm going to chain two and now I'm going to do two double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next six or each of the next nine stitches, excuse me, around. So two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next nine stitches. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And on this row, row 17, I'm going to have a total of 44 double crochets. So I'm just going to slip stitch that first double crochet I made and now I'm going to measure it again. This looks like it's getting pretty big to me. So I'm going to measure it another time here. And this looks, yeah, this is pretty good. So I think this is enough inches there. So now I'm going to chain two and then I'm just going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this row will have one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is row 18 and row 18 is going to have a total of 44 stitches. And then when I'm finished with this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made and then I'm going to change my color to white. The white fur is what I'm going to change it to. And um, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out um, and if you like this video go ahead push the like button make a comment if you want to especially if you have other videos that you want to see and um, again it would really really mean a just a huge amount to me if you would subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it So again, I'm just doing one double crochet in each of the double crochets from the last round and I'm slip stitching that first stitch. So here I'm cutting my yarn now and now I'm going to change to my white furry yarn. And um, I'll leave the link below so you can see exactly what yarn this is that I'm using. So here I'm color changing and then I'm going to chain two. And now I'm working in the front loop only. So here you see that you have a front loop right there. So that's your front loop. And I'm going to here, I'm, let me get the other crochet hook. So here's your front loop. You're going to work in that loop right there. That other loop, that's your back loop. You're going to leave that unworked. So you're just working in your front loop only there. And you're going to do one double crochet all the way around in each front loop only and again I'm just grabbing that front loop and I'm working into that and the furry yarn it could take a little bit to get used to so you may kind of have to play with it a little bit though one of the important things about working with the furry yarn is make sure you're not doing your stitches too tight because if you are it can be hard to pull through so you see when I'm grabbing that stitch, I'm just grabbing that front loop only and that's it. It's really important that you leave that back loop unworked because we're going to start our green working in that back loop. So this guys, this is row 19 and in row 19 here, you're going to have a total of 44 stitches. And then again, when you're done with this, um, you're going to just slip stitch to the first stitch you made and then you're going to um, cut the yarn and you're, 
at this point I'm going to sew in my ends a little bit um, that way they don't get in the way and you can tell um, I didn't unravel this yarn at all and the fur yarn can be a little bit hard so I'm fighting with it just a little bit there I kind of should have unraveled my yarn ball just a little bit but I didn't so I'm fighting with it some So now I'm just going to slip stitch that first stitch that I made and I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to cut it a little long so I can really work it in nicely. So I'm just going to kind of work this through the back, back and forth and I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. That's honestly a lot easier and it'll hold just fine. And now I'm going to tie the red off also there with the white. And I'm working the white in just a little bit more there just to make sure it's good and worked in. So I've tied it off and I'm working it in. And I'm fluffing it back up now because you can fluff it back up afterwards. And you'll have like a little string left there and it's okay to have a little bit of string left there. You can cut that off later. So now guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my green. Um, so we left those back loops open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in that back loop, that first back loop right there. And here I'm just going to do one double crochet all the way around. So I'm going to attach my yarn. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do one double crochet all the way around. And here you see I'm just working in that back loop. The loop that we left open from earlier is what I'm working in. So I'm just working in that back loop. So that's the loop that we left open earlier. And I'm doing one double crochet all the way around. And this is row 20. And this row will have a total of 44 double crochets. Thank you. 
and now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first stitch made and I'm going to chain two and now I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch around and at the end I'm going to um, slip stitch to the first stitch made chain two and then do it again and now I'm going to do this so you're going to have a total of four rounds so you're going to have a total of four rounds just like this so in all in all you're going to have a total of five green rounds the first round you were just um slip stitching or not slip stitching but in that first round you were just double crocheting in that back loop so you're going to have a total of four rounds where now you are um just um doing one double crochet in each stitch from the previous round you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch made you're going to chain two and then you're going to do it all over again and that's going to be a total of four rounds so really it's row 21 to 24 is what you're going to do this with
So here I'm just going to slip stitch to that first stitch I made and now I'm going to cut the green and I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. And I'm going to try to get my yarn needle and work it in here. It can be a little bit hard with the yarn needle with this really, really thick yarn. So it may take me a couple of times to get this, but I'm going to try to work it in with my yarn needle because that's the way I prefer to do it. So now I'm just going to go under some of those stitches, work it back and forth, go back the way that I came with it, and just work it all around. And then when I'm done, then I'm just going to cut that off and then turn it over. So here you can see that I have the actual, the green part done. So the main hat part is done now. So now I'm going to make the eyes. So I'm using my five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double magic ring. And if you don't know how to do that, um, I'll link my video in the description below. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do eight double crochets in the, my magic ring. So I'm just going to do eight double crochets in my magic ring and then I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made and then I'm going to um, pull my magic ring tight first and then I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet that I made and then I'm going to um, cut my yarn and then move on to the next eye. So I'm just pulling it tight there and then I'm going to slip stitch to the first one I made and I always like to count just to make sure that I'm slip stitching to the right one. And then I'm going to pull yarn long and then I'm going to cut it. I'm leaving that yarn long so I can weave it in better or attach it to the hat better. So now I'm going to do that all over again. So I'm going to make my magic ring. It's a double magic ring. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to just do eight double crochets into the magic ring and I'm going to slip stitch the first one made and doing it just like they did the last one. So exactly like I did the last one is how I'm doing this one. Again, make sure you cut that string long or your yarn long. That way you have plenty to work in later. And here I'm just kind of measuring where I'm going to put it. That's pretty cute. I like it. So now I'm going to start with the nose. And with the nose, I'm going to do a magic ring. And of course, I'm going to do my double magic ring. And I'm going to use my dark green for this. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm just going to do four half double crochets in that magic ring. So now I'm going to pull it tight so you grab one pull it tight grab the other pull it tight and then pull the pull the main string tight and now I'm going to slip stitch to the first one that I made and count it just to make sure again and now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do a single crochet just all the way around. Just one single crochet all the way around. And 
And when I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made. And then I'm going to also leave this long so I can sew it in later too. So there we go. There's our eyes and our nose. And now I'm going to um, grab my black yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and add the eye detail onto this and um, this is kind of to your discretion you can do this um, to how you want to I kind of like his eyes um, kind of facing inward towards his nose a little bit I think that's cute so here I'm just attaching the black yarn to the yellow I'm just going to tie a knot in the back there just so it's secure and I'm going to um, just kind of embroidery just around making like a little black triangle or you can make like a little round um, like a circle there if you wanted to for his eyes in the middle there and of course I'm going to do that with both So when I'm done with the black, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tie that off. And I'm going to um, tie it to the yellow from the, from the middle of the magic ring. I'm going to tie it a few times, really secure. I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to move on to my other eye. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing that I did before. Just attach the yarn there to the back. Just tie it on to the yellow. And um, make sure you're attaching it to the back. Don't go through the front because you'll see it through the front if you do that. And you don't really want that. It might look kind of funny. So again, I'm just kind of making my little triangle or a little circle there. However you want to do it. That's completely up to you. Now I'm going to try to position the eyes again. I like the pupils kind of, um, you know, kind of towards the nose a little bit. I think it looks cute that way. So that's how I'm going to sew mine on. And my eyes here, I'm going to take the black off. I'm going to um, attach the yellow, the, the long string that I left. And I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to go back and forth. Um, make sure you're not going all the way through. You're just going through that one layer, not all the way to the back. And I'm just going to go around the eye. And you see, I'm putting it about a stitch down. So I'm leaving a little bit of room on the top there so I can um, put his eyebrows in. So I'm not going to exactly the very top of where the white is. I'm leaving just a little bit of room there. And again, I'm just um, sewing this on, going all the way around. 
and I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to tie this off and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. So there's one eye that's done. So now the next eye, I'm looking at about two stitches apart. His eyes are usually pretty narrow. So now I'm just doing the same thing that I was doing before. I'm going to go all the way around this side, sewing it on. Just making sure I get it good and sewn on. And now I'm just going to turn it over. I'm going to tie this side off now too. And now I'm going to sew the nose on. So I'm going to grab my, my green there. I'm going to position the nose kind of right there in the middle. And I'm just going to go around those loops from the double crochet that I did. So I'm just going to go around all those loops from the double crochet that I made earlier. And I'm going to grab that one that was in the middle. I'm just going to pull it through because that's what I'm going to tie it to when I'm done. So I'm going to tie it to that one that I pulled through earlier when I'm done. So just go all the way around the nose in those single crochet loops and um, just sew it on as close to the middle as you can. All right, so that looks good to me. I'm going to go around just a little bit more so I can make sure it's really, really secure. And now I'm just going to tie this off. I'm going to cut it and now I'm going to grab my black yarn from before. So I'm going to put that on my um, yarn needle there. So now I'm going to just attach the yarn to the back where I think the corner of the mouth should be. Again, this is kind of up to your discretion of how you want the mouth to look. Um, so here I'm just going to make kind of a little slit there for the corner of the mouth. And then I'm going to just work my yarn around. And the nice thing about using the yarn is that it's really easy just to take this out when you're finished if you don't like the way it's looking so if you don't like something it's easy just to kind of pull it out and um, you know do it again so here I'm like eh, I don't really love that so let's uh let's just take that corner out right there I don't I don't love the way that looks I think it needs to be just a little bit more rounded um, for me anyway. So here I'm just going to take that out a bit and then I'm going to try again. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably pencil it out also or um, maybe a fabric marker or something like that. But you know, I really don't like to do that. I'm just going to uh, do it this way. This is the way I enjoy doing it. So this is what I'm going to do. But you could do that if you wanted to. And the, again, the good thing about using the yarn needle here is that it's super easy. If you're not liking the way something looks, just take it out and do it again. So there I'm like, yeah, I don't know about there. And again, this is really, really just up to your discretion on what you like. And they're all going to come out just a little bit different also. So now I think that looks cute. I like it. So now I'm going to do the eyebrows. So I'm just going to tie this off here and then I'm going to start doing the eyebrows. And again, this is to your discretion also about what you like. Now I'm just reattaching the yarn up above where the eye is or beside where the eye is. And if you like it like this, you don't have to do eyebrows. This is, this is your beanie here. You can do it however you want. But I think I like the, I like the Grinch's eyebrows. So I'm going to do the eyebrows. 
And again, this is, this is really up to you. You do this whatever you think looks nice for you. To me, it seems his eyebrows kind of arch up and then they kind of arch down a little bit in between the eyes. So that's how I'm going to make this. Now I'm happy with the way the eyebrows look, so I'm just going to tie this off. And there is one more thing that you're going to need, and that is the pom-pom for the top. Now I have to say, you can make the pom-pom with the pom-pom maker, but I never do. I just get my hot glue gun and I buy these pom-poms in bulk from Amazon. It's super, super easy. I make a lot of these for Christmas and around this time of year, around the Christmas holiday season. So I make a whole bunch of these and it's a little bit more time consuming doing, um, making the pom-poms myself. And um, with the furry yarn, it can be kind of hard to do too. So I'm just going to uh, buy it in bulk, super cheap from Amazon and um, be happy with that. And they always are super cute also. So just attaching it with the hot glue gun. And there you go, guys. There is your Grinch Christmas hat. I hope you enjoyed making this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It would mean a ton to me. And happy hooking, everybody. I hope you love this beanie just as much as I do.